So I've been keeping woodies for around 6 years now and I just thought I'd share what I've learned over the years and show you guys how I managed to breed them successfully. I will start by talking about the care requirements of woodies. Woodies are omnivores so they will readily accept a wide range of food. Water requirements can be met by providing vegetables and fruit with moderate moisture contents. I put in vegetable scraps and fruit peels from the kitchen for the woodies anywhere from once to four times a week. It is important not to overdo the wet feed as it can promote mold growth and make the egg cartons soggy. The roaches would start to eat the egg cartons if it becomes soggy and the cartons start to sag and break quickly. To prevent that, I just put enough wet food for them to finish within 30 minutes and make sure that the wet food is not in contact with the egg cartons. According to a study, Woodies reproduce best when they are ingesting a nutritional ratio of one part protein to 4.8 part carbohydrates. The study also showed that Woodies know how to regulate their own intake of different foods to meet this ratio, so you won't have to worry about matching their optimal requirements exactly. I feed them grounded up supermarket brand dog food, and I find that the cheap dog food from supermarkets might actually be better for the Woodies, as they have higher carbohydrate levels compared to higher quality dog foods. I ground up dog food into a powder-like consistency with a blender and also add a calcium powder to make sure they're getting enough calcium. I constantly top up the dry food to make sure there is 24-7 supply so that I know that their growth and production would not be limited by the lack of nutritional availability. Woodies thrive in warmer conditions so a temperature of 27 to 30 degrees Celsius is ideal. You can use the reptile heat mat underneath the colonies but make sure it is controlled by a thermostat. My woody colonies are sitting above reptile enclosures so that the reptile heat lamps are heating it up. They can tolerate hotter and much colder temperatures but their growth and fertility will be compromised. Good ventilation is also important for healthy roaches as poor air quality and high humidity can lead to issues too. You can either cut a large opening on the lid and hot glue on a fly screen or just leave the tubs open without a lid. A plastic storage tub can be used to house them. Just make sure that a slippery substance like Vaseline or Fluon is applied around the top edge of the container to prevent them from climbing out. I find Vaseline more reliable for keeping woodies in, but still prefer to use Fluon because dirt and dust won't stick to it like it would to Vaseline. When I first started breeding woodies 6 years ago, I used clear storage containers and had egg cartons laying flat on the bottom of the containers. The way egg cartons are placed doesn't maximize the volume of the storage tub and it also collects a lot of roach waste because it sits flat on the floor. So after that I started using these large flat egg tray cartons instead. This makes use of the vertical space and also allows waste to fall to the bottom of the container. I also learned that woodies love the dark and will be less stressed and breathe better if there's less light. So I changed the container from transparent to opaque. This kind of setup served me well for a long time until the plastic started breaking and snapping from regular use. My woody colonies were also growing bigger so I wanted to get larger containers. So I upgraded to large heavy duty storage tubs but found that woodies were escaping because the plastic has rough surfaces. The floor of these tubs were also not flat so it is hard to scoop up waste with a dustpan during cleaning time. So I upgraded again to large heavy duty storage crates that have a glossy plastic surface and a flat bottom as well as being opaque. And this is what I have now. When organizing egg trays in the Woody's tub, I do it in a way that maximizes climbing space. I do this by alternating the sides of the egg cartons so that they won't collapse into each other. As I've briefly mentioned, I clean the woodies by removing bulk of the waste with a small dustpan. All I have to do is lift the egg cartons up with most of the woodies still clinging onto them and tilt the storage crate on an angle to let all the waste fall onto one side. I put the egg crates back onto the other side and wait for the woodies to leave the waste pile to go back into the egg crates before scooping up the waste with a small dustpan. So now that I've touched on the basic care of woodies, I will focus more on the breeding aspect of woodies. A study found that female woodies are more reluctant to breed with males that were kept in a poor environment. Researchers compared male woodies kept at 35 degrees heat without food and water with males kept at 28 degrees with unlimited food and water. 
they found that males raised in poor environments are less likely to be chosen by females for mating. This example is to illustrate that it is important to keep in mind the basic care of woodies must be met for them to breed well. So this includes good nutrition, good environment, and good temperature. Woodies begin their lives as eggs. Eggs remain in an egg sac attached to the adult females until they're ready for hatching. Each egg sac can carry around 25 to 40 eggs. Newly hatched roaches are white and will be carried by the females for a few hours before they are off on their own. Immature woodies are called nymphs, and they will molt as they grow. Males molt 6 times before reaching adult stage, while females molt 8 times. After each molt, woodies become soft and white and are vulnerable to damage at this stage. The final molt marks the transition from nymph to adult, where they obtain wings and are sexually mature. The wings are initially folded and will not be obvious. Adult males will release pheromones to attract females for mating. A female will approach a male if she's attracted to the male, and the male would raise his wings as a courtship display. If the female is happy with the male, she will climb onto the back of the male below his wings. The male would then use an organ called a phalomere to grasp the female and finally mate in an end-to-end -end position. Females are only mated once in their lifetime but will be able to produce around 6 times. Woodies breed best when they are left alone and without any bright lights. For this reason, it is best to have at least two colonies in different tubs. One for feeding out to your reptiles and the rest for breeding. Then I rotate these tubs around every 1-3 to three months. I also try not to disturb the woodies too much by cleaning too often. I only clean the tubs once every few months when there's a thick layer of waste about 2 to 3 centimeters at the bottom of the tubs. Studies also shown that genetic diversity in a population promotes good fitness, in other words, good fertility and reproduction rates. What this means is that breeding closely related woodies would eventually decrease the yield from your colonies. These colonies will theoretically conceive less, have fewer eggs, and produce weaker offsprings. This can be prevented in two ways. First method is to always maintain large colony sizes. A colony of woody that began from two males and two females would essentially only have four sets of genes. Whereas woodies founded from hundreds of breeding adults will have almost unlimited gene combinations. Similarly, when you are culling for woodies for food, selling woodies, or splitting a large colony into smaller colonies, make sure you don't end up with a small colony in the process. If you suddenly drop the population number of a colony to a low level, you are replicating what's called a genetic bottleneck. The colony may either never bounce back and die off, or it may bounce back but with decreased fitness. The second way to maintain genetic diversity is to introduce new genes. This can be done by either buying fresh stock from different sources, or just mixing individuals from different colonies that you already have. Every time I do a big clean, I will pour woodies from different colonies into a large container, let it mix, and then portion out the woodies back into the separate colonies. If the woodies are well fed, kept warm, provided with a dark, undisturbed environment, and you maintain good diversity, it should lead to a healthy and long-lasting colony. One last thing I want to touch on are things that you should look for to assess the health of a colony. In a healthy growing colony, you should always be able to find females with egg sacs, woodies of different sizes, and white woodies. If any of these are not present or are very difficult to find, you should look into the nutrition of the diet you provide and check the temperatures. You should also keep an eye on the size of the adult woodies. They should be relatively broad and around 3cm long. If the adults in your colony are getting smaller and smaller with each generation and are becoming relatively narrow and thin, it might mean that they're growing slower than expected. Again, we check the temperature and nutrition. If you're frequently spotting adults with damaged wings and antenna, What's happening is that woodies are munching on freshly molted ones, which is telling you there is not enough food or the diet you provide is lacking some nutrition. So reassess the diet. A research had actually demonstrated that these defective males with broken wings are deemed less attractive by females and would less likely be mated. If you find that there are a lot more nymphs than adults, it might be because you're feeding off the larger woodies quicker than they can grow. If this is happening, just stop feeding from that colony, put it aside and let it recover and regain some adults.
Keep in mind that unless you spend a lot of time observing your colonies, it is normal not to see copulation and the birthing of babies. So don't use these two indicators to gauge how well your colony is breeding. As long as there is a mix of different sized woodies, it means that they are breeding. I hope this video has been informative and helpful, and I hope that you will also have success breeding woodies. Thank you.